Loss of Consortium Claims Loss of consortium, a legal concept often overlooked, is a vital avenue for seeking reparation in cases of severe injury or wrongful death caused by another party's negligence. It represents the pursuit of financial compensation for the profound personal losses experienced by a spouse or family member due to an injury, encompassing aspects such as companionship, affection, and emotional support. If you sustained injuries in an accident in Colorado, contact our Denver Personal Injury Attorneys today to schedule your free consultation. Our experienced legal team are knowledgeable and zealous advocates for our clients and their cases. We treat our clients as people, not case files. Learn more about how we can help you pursue compensation for your injuries and damages. Understanding Loss of Consortium Loss of consortium encompasses a wide array of intangible losses suffered by a spouse or family member due to an injury caused by someone else's negligence. These losses may include emotional support, intimacy, parental guidance, and other relational benefits integral to a close familial bond. The premise of this claim rests on the notion that such losses would not have occurred had it not been for the victim's injury resulting from another party's wrongful actions. Eligibility for filing a loss of consortium claim Typically, loss of consortium claims is initiated by the injured party's spouse, who may have endured a myriad of losses ranging from household assistance to emotional support and companionship. Children of the injured individual may also pursue such claims, citing the loss of parental guidance, support, and opportunities for interaction. It's crucial to note that these claims are often associated with catastrophic injuries like traumatic brain injuries, which significantly impede the victim's ability to engage in familial relationships, such as car accidents, big rig crashes and motorcycle accidents. Calculating Loss of Consortium Damages Unlike economic damages, which are quantifiable based on tangible expenses such as medical bills, calculating loss of consortium damages involves subjective assessments and interpretations. The value of these damages is typically determined by a jury, considering the impact of the injury on the affected relationship. Testimonies from family members, medical experts, and other witnesses play a pivotal role in illustrating the extent of the injury's effects on familial dynamics. Factors Affecting Compensation Several factors may influence the compensation awarded for loss of consortium, including state laws and insurance policy limits. In Colorado, there are caps on the amount of damages that can be sought for pain and suffering, including loss of consortium. Additionally, the compensation may be subject to the defendant's insurance policy limits, although recovery through personal assets is also a possibility. Seeking legal guidance for a loss of consortium claim in Colorado. If you believe you have grounds for a loss of consortium claim, it's essential to seek legal counsel promptly. Consulting with experienced personal injury attorneys can provide valuable insights into the viability of your claim and the potential compensation you may be entitled to. Contacting reputable legal firms such as Front Range Injury Attorneys can offer you a free case consultation, helping you navigate the complexities of the legal process and pursue the compensation you deserve.